The reveal trailer for the next Battlefield game was shown off today, and actual gameplay for it is going to be shown off at the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase. So EA and DICE showed off the next upcoming Battlefield game. It's going to be called Battlefield 2042. It is a futuristic Battlefield game, which I'm pretty excited about. I was kind of getting tired of the older World War II, World War I Battlefield games that we have recently got. So going back to the Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3 style, but even more futuristic, it seems like, as this is going to be a game that has to do with an all-out war between the United States and Russia. And they say here that there are refugees that are known as non-patriated or no-pats and are made up of families, farmers, engineers, and even soldiers. And amidst this crisis that they're in, the United States and Russia draw the world into an all-out war. Now, when it comes to what's actually featured in this game, I think there's been a bit of a mixed reaction because Battlefield 2042 is only going to have a multiplayer, will not include a single player campaign and that's always controversial with first person shooter games there are some people who are die hard campaign first person shooter gamers and when they see that being left out they're definitely disappointed and then there are the people that don't care and all they want to do is play multiplayer for battlefield specifically i don't think not having a campaign is that big of a deal at least for me because i don't remember the last time i've played a battlefield campaign i think it was battlefield bad company one and two were the last campaigns that i played for battlefield and those campaigns were awesome but we haven't had a campaign like that in a while from ea and from dice with the battlefield series so for that reason i'm not that disappointed it's a game that i'm going to be picking up to play multiplayer now they also gave us more information as to what the multiplayer is going to entail the biggest thing here is that on the next generation consoles of so the xbox series xs playstation 5 and on pc you're going to get a game mode that allows up to 120 players so it's going to be massive amount of people in one game it's not a battle royale mode but there's going to be vehicles and all that kind of stuff that battlefield has and they say this game mode is called all out warfare and is made up of fan favorite game types like conquest and breakthrough and then there is going to be another game mode that they talked about which is called hazard zone and it's an all new squad based game type that dice only says is a modern take on the multiplayer experience but it is keeping a lid on it for a bit longer and then there's going to be another game mode which they aren't going to show off yet i believe they're going to be showing that off at ea play on july 22nd and they say that is a love letter to battlefield fans so it seems like they really are focusing on the core gameplay of multiplayer with this series and they're not doing the battle royale mode which i mean may probably is a smart move because of how big call of duty warzone is fortnite apex legends is probably pretty hard to get in to that arena i know they have firestorm on the current battlefield but i don't know how well that actually does and then there's another change here and it's in the terms of when you select your player you're going to be playing as one of four specialists and within these specialists you're going to have fully customizable traits specialties and weapon loadouts so obviously this was just a reveal trailer we don't we haven't seen the gameplay but you can expect this game to look really good i mean dice even the current battlefield game that's out right now still looks very good so you can expect that battlefield 2042 is going to look incredible on the next gen consoles and what's interesting about all of this is that they are showing off battlefield 2042 gameplay at the xbox and bethesda showcase on june 13th so i'm going to be streaming it make sure to come by and check it out and there's been a lot of chatter as to whether battlefield 2042 this upcoming battlefield game is going to be on xbox game pass now the fact that they are showing it off at the xbox and bethesda showcase doesn't mean that it's going to come to xbox game pass but hey there is a chance that it will on day one i think they are showing it off at the xbox and bethesda showcase for various reasons i mean one ea play is a part of xbox game pass so they have that working relationship there so even if the game doesn't come onto xbox game pass on day one you know it's going to make its way onto the console onto xbox game pass eventually right because games in ea play when they come out you get a 10 hour trial so you're going to automatically get 10 hours to try out battlefield 2042 when it's first released and then usually about six months later they release the full versions 
on EA Play, which brings them over to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Xbox Game Pass for PC. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I know a lot of people want this to be on Game Pass on day one. I'd love this to be on Game Pass day one. It seems like it is the perfect game to come to Game Pass on day one, considering it is only multiplayer. So if you put it on Game Pass on day one, you're going to have access to millions and millions of players right away jumping in. And that to me just makes a ton of sense. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Did you watch the trailer? What did you think of the trailer? Are you excited for this game? Are you upset that there is not a single player campaign? And do you think this game is going to drop onto Xbox Game Pass on day one? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.